what's up guys welcome to a new video Mortic here so we're going to be looking at my mortar deck again today i just pushed up to 5200 trophies i hardly got a lot i had a few losses i guess in between but i hardly got any losses really um this was i'd say in a grand challenge so we got three losses just at the end there we did five of that but we're gonna be looking at this mortar deck like i say it's a pretty strong mortar deck it just counters quite a lot of stuff on the ladder at the moment there's a lot of mortar decks going around there's lots of minions going around as well and a lot of minion horde as well especially which you can get really good trades off with your arrows so arrows are really good in this deck it used to have tornado on this deck but i think arrows are just a little bit better at the moment just because how ladder is right now you see like say here you can see the miner this guy's got a furnace he's got minions he's also got the goblin barrel as well so it's really good to counter that with the log and with the arrows as well so i feel this is a good all-round deck it's got bats in it as well so that's kind of the newest card i think i've added into this deck originally there should be skeletons there but i just think bats work so much better and if you can bait out their zap with something else you can get a good push off your knight and your bats at the same time and pretty much take down a tower or force them to play something they don't want to play so again this is the deck here so this is the deck here this is a pretty damn good deck i've almost maxed it out i've only got a little bit to go on the rock and my log is getting to level four so it's getting closer and closer to level four but i'm hoping to push up to 5500 by the end of the season there's only one day of hours to go so there's hardly any time to go but hopefully i'll be able to get there in the end but i'm going to be showing you guys a game today with this deck we'll be looking at the game it got me to 5200 so we'll have a look at that right now we're just going to hear where is it um, yep, this is the last game here. So this is a Lava Hound deck. So I counter a few Lava Hound decks pretty well. I'm going to speed this forward just a little bit just to kind of get into the game just a little bit. But you can see here we're just kind of, this is just kind of 15 seconds of the game. We both built up Elixir. We're not putting anything down. I like to cycle things through. I like to see if I can get a positive Elixir trade a little bit at the start just purely because some people don't put down them um, stuff fast enough and they lose that one elixir and um, so you see he's done a really good defensive knight here we've also got the lava hound coming here as well we've got the bats backing all that up and managed to get the arrows down as well i get them down on the minions i should have probably maybe held them for the lava hound but that was fine there we take down the minions we also finished off the knight and got the mortar connect to the tower you can see i've still got some arches in there so that's easily gonna be able to take this down again i'm just gonna speed forward just a little bit here and um, so i just managed to take the lava hound down with those with those archers so that was pretty easy to do he's got us he's actually got the um you can see he's got the balloon actually coming in the back here so what i do is i just rock at the balloon straight away get it down really low health i've got loads of anti-air here i've got some bats i've got some archers coming up so i can easily just put anything in the back just to get that balloon down and that's what i do i just get the bats in there they just quickly snipe the balloon and then you get um they did get taken down i guess the bats to get taken down by that bomb but the balloon didn't get any damage done to the tower and I got some damage done to his tower as well, just with that rocket. So we got some archers down, just clearing that up again. Archers are really strong against this, I feel. And he does have the minion horde, so this was probably a bad play for me. He does go for his minion horde straight away. He doesn't really back up with anything. He probably should have placed, like, maybe the bats at the start, then went for the balloon, and then went for the minion horde afterwards. Then I would have had nothing to stop that balloon. I don't think I probably would have rocketed it anyway, so I don't feel like he's really had maybe anything to even take this out. So he's putting bats in the back there, so we're coming to double elixir now. And um, he's just trying to cycle through like I said he did. He actually does go for it. He goes for the balloons. He must go for this minion horde. He actually gets rocketed straight away. So he can th he's thinking about putting his definitely his minions down. He hesitates putting those minions down. He's wasting elixir right now. Um waits for the knight to come forward a little bit. I actually get the ice bit, I get the arrows down here as well. Completely shut that down. My mortar's full locked onto the tower. I've got a knight just in front there, just the tank for the mortar. I've got the arches in the back again defending. So I'm just kind of reacting to what he's doing and trying to go offensive with the mortar as soon as he's put that lava hang down. So there's only 30 seconds ago. I actually psych managed to cycle through back to another mortar again. And we're actually locked on the tower again. He puts nothing on the ground. He hasn't got a knight. He didn't cycle through fast enough. He's just got so much air in his deck. He's got again the balloon coming through, but the archers are there. So I actually leave this a little bit. I think I actually do get the rocket down. Um, I, I get a bit scared here when the minions actually go down because I wasn't too sure what's going to happen. So I did put an arrows down there, managed to clear up all the minions. The lava hound's going to pop, but it's definitely not going to drop my tower down, especially since I can back up with that knight and the bat. He has got minions, but again, I've got bats. All I need to do now is rocket his tower, and that's it. And that got me to 5,000. 
200 trophies. That was a Lavhound deck. Sometimes they appear Lavhound decks, they catch you off guard, but because he was building up in the back with his Lavhound, I just feel that was really easy to stop. I think you need to build something else up in the back and then surprise him with your Lavhound at the front. You know, like put the balloon in the back, put something else in the back rather than just put your Lavhound in trying to build that up in the back. But again, he played, he does play pretty well. He is up at the same trophies that I am. I mean, the trophies are crazy at the moment, um, what I'm on at the moment, but that's 5,200 5, trophies. But I just wanted to show you guys this deck. I feel is a really strong deck at the moment. Um, it, everyone's complaining about how strong Mortar is, even how strong Mortar Hog is as well. But I feel with the Mortar, you can just get cycles off faster with this deck opposed to the Hog and the Mortar deck as well. But there is a few more Hog Mortar decks that's definitely taken me down. So, um, so don't count them out. They're definitely really strong decks as well. Anything with the Mortar in the moment is just really strong. I feel Mortar can just draw any game. So if you feel like you're losing, you can just start acting really defensive with your Mortar deck and just try and take down anything they're pushing with. So again, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe down below and I'll see you next one. Thank you